Hi guys, um, good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are watching me from across the globe. Yes, it's your girl, goodness, Usman, your fab lady realtor here again today. All right, um, a whole lot of times I've been getting, a, I get a lot of uh, questions from prospects, even my, some of my clients asking me the different types of houses that are available. So this video is to show you one kind of house, maybe two, yes, two types of houses that are available. I know the first one people are familiar with it, but the second one a lot of people are not So in another video, I'll show you, I'll, I'll be doing a video showing you the type of houses that are available so when you come across those terminologies you'll get used to it so I'll start with the first one which is a bungalow so we all know what a bungalow is i believe everybody knows what a bungalow is the only new one in town is the bungalow with a penthouse which is what is trending right now in the heart of abi georgiari of course the avocado smart and lux with your home has a bungalow with a penthouse when it's completed they have one in lakwe the avocado uh, in lakwe they have one some units building building i've shown you i've done a video there but when it's fully finished i will show you that one but however we all i believe we all know a bungalow, what a bungalow is majority of us grew up in a bungalow house so but just for the sake of this video here it is this is a bungalow this is now in terms of a bungalow you can have a so in terms of houses you can have a fully detached you can have a semi-detached so on house types that are fully detached whether it is a bungalow or a duplex that are fully detached and there are semi-detached now because a lot of people have moved into this house i might not be able to go in there to show you um what it is but you see this is a, a sample of a bungalow so you understand what a bungalow is now right and that of course is a three bedroom bungalow so you can have different sizes of the bedroom you can have five you can have ten you can have depends on how you want to have it how big you want you can build a bungalow on a two bedroom on a two plot of land you can leave build it on a one plot of land you can build it on one and a half it depends on what you want as a person but hey one of the type of house is right there that's a bungalow you can see it right right behind me now the second one i will be talking about in this video video is a semi-detached duplex all right, so you know when I started this video, I explained that you can have a fully detached house, whether bungalow or, 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 or duplex. You can have a fully detached house, you can have a semi-detached house. So here today, aside from having a semi, like I said, there are semi-detached bungalows. Like some of the bungalows they sell in um, in Queen's Park 1 in Mowea for that, they are semi-detached. They're not fully detached, okay? So that's, that's it. You can see a fully detached bungalow. So for the duplexes, I'm going to be talking basically today on semi-detached house. So now, remember I said you can build your bungalow fully detached on one plot, on two plot, depending on what you want. Depending on the sizes of the house you want. If you want a four bedroom, you, want it, you know, it's about um, variety. It's about choice, right? It's about what you want as a person. You know, some people are big family people. They want big space. Some people don't want big space. They just want two rooms and they're good. Or three rooms maximum. But some people want five, seven bedrooms. So choices of building your fully detached house or your semi-detached house is all about you. Okay, and it also depends on the location, you know, sometimes because of the location of where these properties are, um, some people find it very easy to build a semi-detached, okay? There are terraces as well, but today's video is not about terraces, it's majorly about me showing you what a semi-detached house looks like. Alright, so this is a typical example, please go back and let's see the view of this house. So I believe you're seeing the view of the house now, can you see it up to the roof level? Can you see it? Okay, so that's okay. Okay, so please show that one too. Show that one. Okay, so come back to me. Show everywhere here and come back to me. All right, so um, this is a typical three bedroom semi detached house with a BQ. Now, it's semi detached because if you look at it, you don't, you're not standing alone in the compound. You have something like you beside you. So this is like a full. So if you don't have this bar within this world, then it's no longer a semi-detached. It's a fully detached. So the difference between a semi-detached and a fully detached is that bar. If it's a fully detached house, you're not going to see this prototype. The same about the same twin building. So you, if you look at these two buildings together, you see that they look like a twin building, right? Yes, it's basically a twin building, the same style, right? See. It's basically like a twin building. You understand what I'm saying? So for a semi-detached, this is what you will see basically in a semi-detached. But for a fully detached, this guy will not be here. 
it's gonna be you so let me let me use the word stand alone so it's gonna be you only for a fully detached it's gonna be you only in your compound and you're going to have for a fully detached you're gonna have more space than a semi-detached so like i said this is a semi-detached three bedroom duplex with a bq now you can have a semi-detached house on a 300 square meter which is a half lot depending on where you're buying the land again but this particular unit is a four 50 square meter so we can say half and a quarter lot right if that's right by mathematics okay so that is it so you have it let's go back you see it it's sitting this particular one is sitting on 450 square meters so the twin building if i'm going to match them together it's going to is, is if you have a fully detached on it it's going to be sitting on a 900 square meter for those who usually ask me what can i buy with a what will i build on a 450 square meter hello have you seen it i remember i did a video in um in um queen's queen's garden right in the sherry Knox. yes where i showed you a house that is sitting on a four bedroom detached house that is sitting on 300 square meter i don't know if you have watched it but if you have not if you go down you'll see it so but this one is a house sitting on a 450 square meters meanwhile you can still achieve this too sitting on a 300 square meter that's the blade's truth because if you see those bungalows you see those bungalows right there they are sitting on the three i wish i can turn around i don't want the video to be too long i wish i can turn around and show you how but maybe on another video you see it. it's sitting on a 300 square meter if not way more than i think some of them are one the 300 square meter and three bedroom bungalow that's why they have so much space okay so if you hear about semi-detached this is what it means there are terraces now when i'm going to do you a video of a terrace is way different the look is different the structure is different and when it comes to space it's way different but for this this is what a three bedroom you see it here what a three bedroom this is what a semi-detached house look like of course you will basically have different designs so you can have different kind of design i usually say this that in construction the difference between your house and the other person's house or your design is the person that is managing it your engineer your architects how well can they manage the space this is a three bedroom semi-detached house some people can achieve with this size can achieve a five bedroom depends it depends on you and it depends on the level of space that you want the level of parking space you want will determine the space you want on the sitting room the space you want on the rooms you know all the rooms the three rooms are upstairs there's a family lounge upstairs there's the sitting room downstairs the kitchen and of course it comes with the bq so it depends on how your design so like i said you can buy an half plot of land and get your duplex built on it you can buy a 450 square meter land and get your duplex built on it you can also buy a 600 square meter a 500 square meter and get your duplex built on it a lot of people have this notion that 450 square meter is too small for them to build their house i'm like hello if you're buying a land in high brown area and you can only afford a 450 square meter how about you go for it instead of making in making and giving in to these excuses of no there won't be enough space yes it might not be this usual space that we're used to compared to the old, those days we're used to a large compound gray area lot of, yeah but if you want that you can achieve it on a full plot but for just for the sake of people who can only afford 300 square meter 450 square meter and they'll be asking me what can i build on it i said i should do this video again to show you what they have built on this and to also encourage you to go ahead and do what you want to do buy that land and you know that you can build something like this okay and if you're buying this house you know that it's on that amount of space so this is just to encourage someone who wants to buy half plot like i said 450 square meter hey go ahead you can build your bungalow you can build your semi-detached house and i hope that you now know the difference between you now know what a semi-detached house is i've shown you that demarcation you see those demarcation see? See the demarcation so it's, it's a see through now one of the, the, the um, buildings that are popular construction that are popular in lagos now is this see through so no you know those those big gigantic fence that we all grew up with where they cannot cross the fence you can't jump through the fence to another person's neighbor you can't see where your neighbor that's no longer there it's an open so true fence now you see it that's what was done here so i can see what my neighbor is doing my neighbor can see what i'm doing just like here now it's open through this is how it is the fence is not going higher than this everyone can see everyone so if you are killing someone next we know that hey you know that kind of a thing Ah, gashi na ngi na na me na makasa la do tumo. So we kena police abi. I don't have to say that in Ibo. Sorry, guys, but Ibo guys, sorry. I know that we have tried so hard. Anyways, you get the drift. So it's a see-through design now that is popular in Lagos. If you check all of the houses on sale, that's all of the designs. 
you know, so no more the big gigantic fence and all of that. And that's why it's in an estate that is secured. So, like I said, that's it. That's a semi detached. You see the bar, you see the different seats there. All of these places are semi detaches, just like all of these places are bungalows. You see, all of them are in bungalows. You see, right? And you'll see a fully detached. I think there's a fully detached back there, but on another video, I'll do um I'll do a video showing you a fully detached house. I'll show you a mansion. I'll show you what a terrace is. But I hope today you've been able to understand the difference, what a semi-detached house is. And of course, I believe that everyone knows what a bungalow is. Maybe I'm not using the right word, but hey, you know what a bungalow house is. You know, bungalow houses don't have upstairs. That's it. But we are changing the game with avocado. Hey, oh yeah, get, get. Now you can have a bungalow, you can mix the old skill with the new skill. Honestly, I love that design. I don't know why, but for some reason, I just love it. And I, why, why I love it is because it's a new school blend. It's an old school blend, new school. Yes, like I said, we all grew up in bungalows. Not all of us grew up in upstairs matter. But now this is everybody wants to be upstairs. Like, hey, I'm getting upstairs. Who's downstairs? You know, that kind of. Well, so we're bringing the two blending together. So let's just show you. So look at this one now. I see that bungalow. I see that you are alone in the compound. I see that person in the compound has access to his own gate and all of that. So that's it. Of course, you can have that too. Yeah. All right. So if you have any question whatsoever, you need any explanation for that one on one, just contact me, and I'll be able to um, help you with those questions. And if you have any um, request, any video you want me to make, you have a request, a special request of the kind of video you want me to make next, of course, feel free to put it in the comment section and I promise you that I'll get right into it and make that video for you. If you want me to show you some kind of houses, I can basically do that because I am here for you. So let me know what you think in the comment section also about this video. Like I said, you need more clarification on this semi-detached kind of a thing, bungalow, just let me know. Thank you once again for watching this video. Don't forget that your subscription means a lot to me. So go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel because if you don't do so, I won't be able to make these videos. It's an encouragement for me to furthermore make these videos. And of course, you get a notification button when you turn on the notification button so that you don't miss my next video or maybe terrace or any other information. I will be bringing your way. I remain goodness. Usman, please remain blessed. And most importantly, stay, stay safe. So once again, happy new year in advance and see you in the next video. So I say, 